Hey, what's up, my triple love and YouTube friends? Well, get your pencil and paper out. It's lesson time. We're gonna learn how to put an extra 10 suspension into Project Freedom here. And this used to have an eight inch rear skid in it. And we're gonna switch it over to an extra 10. Um, took an extra 10 out of uh, that part sled that Trent and I bought, that storm. So I have it sitting right here on the stand so that I have a template basically. And I did some measuring. First I measured from where the drivers go through the bulkhead here to the first hole. And this one happened to be 12 and a quarter. This one over here, 12 and three quarters. Eh, that's close enough. I'm not even gonna mess with that front hole. Then the second hole from there back to here was like 25, 28 inches or something like that. But it needs to be 23 inches from center to center. I already put this side in. I wanted to do one side to make sure everything was gonna go good. But so I checked over here on this storm with the extra 10 in it, measured from here to here, 23 inches. And it's three quarters of an inch from here to that hole. And it's like three inches from here to there. But I'm gonna run with what the eight inch was set up. I could go to this hole up here and that would give me the same as what the uh, storm was set up but I'm gonna go here with a little bit lighter ski pressure on it then is what I'm thinking. So that's how I'm gonna set it up. I used quarter inch steel rivets to rivet the plate back in. And what I did here is when I mocked it all up, we'll go to the other side that I haven't put together yet. And I'll kind of explain what I did and why I did it. I didn't go exactly 23 inches. I, uh, it's more like 22 and 15 sixteenths is what it ended up. And the reason I did it is because this hole here, this is where the old plate was mounted. Well, the front hole, if I lined up my mounting plate here for the skid, you see over here, that mounting plate right there, but if I lined that hole right there up with that hole, I could put one rivet in and kind of hold everything in place. And it puts me at 22 and 15 sixteenths. I'm like, 16th off? Close enough for my tolerance. So let's throw a rivet in there. We'll drill out the other holes. And then we'll drill out our mounting hole after we get the plate all mounted up. All right, we're all underneath it. I'm gonna drill the rest of these holes. I just walked around for no less than five minutes I'm trying to find a dang pair of safety glasses. I got at least three pair out here. I couldn't find a pair, but I finally found one. So, this one here, this one here, kind of line up with a hole that's already there. So I'm gonna drill a hole all the way through everything. Right there. I'm gonna put one here. And I'm gonna add one. All right, that's all of our holes drilled for the rivets. All right, now I'm just going to deburr them. And I'm running these rivets from the inside the tunnel out. So I'm worried if I run them the other way, the track could really come close to the rivets, being that what was in there before is a zero clearance rivet. Oh, here comes the puppies. Hey guys. What you doing, Romeo? Like I said, these are a quarter inch rivet. And you could. 
could put backup washers and stuff on here. I'm not concerned. I have no concerns on having to have backup washers on here. I think with the 10, 10 rivets that are in here, plus the bolt that's going through into the suspension, more than plenty. But I'm not an engineer. Lost my drill bit. There it is. I found it. Oh, it happens all the time. I lose stuff. Constantly looking for stuff. Now I lost my last rivet. See that? Just like that. I had it. Found it. Standing on it. Alright, let's just drill the hole through now for the suspension bolt. And I'm going to go with the bottom hole. And there it is. Voila. Let me just deburr that. There, uh, that's all set for an extra 10 suspension now. And the reason I didn't add any extra beefing or like on the old, on the old suspension, there was this plate out here. On this 96 Storm, there was no extra plate. So I'm guessing over the years, the engineers figured out, really don't need it. And for me, for the way this sled's gonna be ridden, I'm not gonna need it. This isn't, this isn't gonna be jumping 50 foot gaps every weekend and or 100 foot gaps and it's not going to be bashing moguls and stuff. Nope, not going to be doing that on this sled. So I'm not concerned with all that extra support back there. I think what's there is going to be good and plenty. Here thing I did here is last night I did, I drilled out all my foot stirrups. I drilled on this thing forever. I drilled and ground and you name it. But I took the foot stirrups off because I'm going to be doing a bunch of modifying to it. I took the coolers all off because I'm going to be dimple dying my whole running board area. I'm going to be dimple dying it upwards. One is for extra traction. One is to take ounces of weight out. I'm going to take ounces of weight out of this thing everywhere. I'm going to be dimple dying anything. Just something simple like this. I'm going to drill a hole. I'm going to dimple die. I'm going to dimple die this whole thing up. Because I want to. You know, I, I'm not trying to save tons of weight, but I'm just going to do it to do it. I set the engine in here. Well, the case. Set the motor mounts down in here. And then set the case in, and I can see I'm going to have to redrill this hole back here over an inch to move that motor mount over one inch so that they, those can line back up. This used to have an uh, XC600 triple motor in it. Now it's going to have an ultra motor in it. So I just got to do a little modifying to that. No big deal. I'm okay with that. But I'm going to get this sway bar out of it. I'm not going to run a sway bar on this sled now. It's not going to have a belly pan. It's not going to have a hood. It's not going to have a lot of things. I might extend my shock towers up to be able to run a lot longer Walker Evans shock in here. I haven't decided if I'm going to go through that work yet. Uh, I haven't decided all the fab I'm going to do to this yet, but I know of a couple things I'm going to do for sure. And that's the dimple dying and I'm going to lighten up a bunch of stuff on it. So I've been working on three fingers over here last couple nights. I did more welding on this thing. This thing should have been thrown in the trash can. Honestly, whoever owned this sled, Beat the living piss out of this thing. Oh my God. I can't believe they're not in a wheelchair. I mean, this bulkhead was broken in half. The, 
The trailing arm mounts were broke. I mean, you, everything on the sled was broke. I stitched this thing back together the last couple nights with welding. And some of this, we had to cut out to be able to fit that big triple and stuff in here. And I welded plating back in. And I welded here, welded there. My God, this thing was just beat to living hell. But it's welded back together. It's probably better than new because I added extra welding in places and 